Charis TV. I have the grace. You can't stop me. Let's read Matthew. Arabalin Mateo sixteen. Mateo sixteen. 13 to 17. He asked his disciple, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they answered, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, and still others Jeremiah, or just one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter replied, You are the Christ, the Messiah, the Anointed, the Son of the Living God. Then Jesus answered him, Blessed, happy, spiritually, and secured and favored by God, are you, Simon, son of Jonah, because flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. On the same chapter, Let's read from verse 21 to 23. From that time on, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and endure many things at the hands of elders and the chief priests and scribes, Jewish high courts, and be killed and be raised from the dead to life on the third day. Peter took him aside and began to reprimand him, saying, May God forbid it. This will never happen to you. But Jesus turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are a stumbling block to me, for you are not setting your mind on things of God, but on things of men. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Today, I want us to look at this topic, our words. Because when I was reading here, I was very touched on one chapter. On the same place. Jesus was talking, asking the disciples. What are these people saying? Revelation came. It came to Peter. And Jesus said, It's not flesh and blood. Same chapter after that, Jesus began to show that he is going to suffer. The revelation of understanding who is Christ will make you to know that Christ has to go to the cross. The same man who got revelation took Jesus aside and began to reprimand him. You know, I was looking at that, I said, there is something that pushes our ways to come out of our mouth. It might be from the flesh and blood or from the revelation from the Father. Therefore, we need to mind our ways. Before we speak out, we need to know who's allowing us to say that. You know, I went back and tried to find why Peter denied Jesus in the last day. I found that this was a problem. His ways, he never checked them. If today you are influenced by the revelation, and tomorrow you are influenced by the flesh, it is possible that one day you will deny Jesus. Many of our ways, 
are really shocking ways. Look what Jesus says, get behind me, Satan. Now here Jesus was saying, Peter, you are Satan now. The same man who got revelation from God, now is Satan. I found that, that it is possible that we have got ability. Man is having ability to speak what is not in his heart. In James chapter 3, from verse 1, it says, Are not many of you should become teachers serving in an official teaching capacity? My brothers, and sisters, for you know that we will be judged by a higher standard because we have assumed greater accountability and more condemnation if we teach incorrectly. For we all stumble and sin in many ways. If anyone does not stumble in what he says, never saying the wrong things, he is a perfect man fully developed in character without serious flaws, able to bridle his whole body and reign in his entire nature, taming his human faults and weaknesses. The Bible says a person can be without serious flaws. He can be a perfect man. If he cannot fall from what he speaks. If you read there, you will realize that our judgment is coming from our ways. What we are speaking is what we need to give a judgment one day. We have to be acquainted to every word we have spoken. So the Bible says, don't cry to be teachers. Because teachers always, they use ways to communicate we are going to be judged by what we are speaking will get a serious judgment. Listen to this. A, a Christian in the church is having a better opportunity from the pastor who's preaching because before God, you'll be judged by what you will say in the church. Even outside there. I don't know if you're hearing that. Tell your neighbor, say, Your words will determine your stand before God. One of our challenges today is how we shape our tongue to produce words. And those words determine who are we, what kind of fruit the tree are we. The Bible says we will know you by the fruits. Because whatever you will be speaking is coming from your heart and it's what you are doing in and life. In life. Keep watching Charis TV.